I'm Sarah with Waterfall Yoga, and today we're going to be working on feeling the transverse abdominis, uh, and as well as SI joint and pelvic movements to help release any SI joint pain, low back pain, pelvic pain. So we're starting in a position on your back with your feet against the wall, with your knees about in line with your hips and your knees in line with your heels against the wall, creating a 90 degree angle. And place your fingers right on the inside of your bony front hip protrusions and feeling the soft tissue there. As you breathe in, let your belly expand and kind of lift up into your fingers. Feel the pelvic floor stretch towards the wall. And then as you exhale, Notice if you feel the transverse abdominis, one of our deep abdominal layers, kind of pop up and create a little pressure in your fingertips. Now, if you don't feel that, then that muscle might be weak and it might have forgotten to kind of turn on over time. So we're going to create a shh sound with the breath to see if that can't help. So we're going to do a four, four, six count breath. So as you breathe in, you'll breathe in for a count of four. You're holding for a count of four with the breath filled up. And then you're going to exhale for a count of six with the shh sound. So let's try it together. Fingers on the transverse abdominis just inside of the hips. Breathe in for four, three, two, one. Hold the breath in nice and filled up for three, two, one, exhale for six, shh, four, three, making that shh sound, two, one, and then breathe in for a count of four, three, two, one, hold for three, two, one, shush for six, shh. Good, keep repeating that and see if you can't also feel as you make the shh sound and exhale for a count of six, your whole abdomen, the rib cage and the core muscles pull in and feel that little bit of tension, that little pop up of transverse abdominal onto your fingers. It might take some practice. So give it a few tries and see how it feels. If it starts to wake up a little bit for you. The next position we're going to do, and you can pause this video to keep watching your breath, or we can move on to the somatic movements of the SI joint and the pelvis using the wall. So as you breathe in, I'm going to move my arm out of the way so you can see. As you breathe in, we're going to draw the tailbone down, let the spine arch up off the floor so there's some space there underneath your back, and let the chin draw towards the chest. And then as you exhale, roll the tailbone face up towards your knees, draw the belly button down into the floor, feel the contraction of your abdominal muscles, and let the chin tip back. So breathe in, arching, breathe out, contracting the core muscles. The exhale, again, the cinching in of all the muscles towards your midline the TA engaging. Again, inhale, the contraction goes into the arch and the back body feels that tightness, that contract as the front stretches. And then we reverse it, exhale, squeeze everything in, contracting the front, relaxing the back or stretching the back muscles. So about three times is all it needs. And then let your pelvis relax. The next position is to move the side body in contraction. So the SI joints kind of shifting or hiking the hip in each position. So for this one, we're going to breathe in, let the pelvic floor expand, the belly expand, kind of go into that little bit of arch pattern. And then as you exhale, contract, hiking your left hip drawing the belly button down into the floor and notice my head rolled and I really feel that contraction through the neck all the way down into my hip and then we roll back to center and 
relax. And you can either alternate sides or stay on the same side. So we'll do three on each side. So inhaling, a little bit of arch in the spine, tailbone drawing down, chin tucks. Exhaling, contracting, hip hikes up towards the shoulder, head rolls to look towards that side. There's the contraction. The side's stretching, the side's contracting, and then we let it go completely. We'll do one more to the side. Inhale, exhale, contract. Hip hikes, shoulder and hip come closer together. Head rolls to look at that side of the body, and then back to center. You'll pause this video, repeat it on the other side. And then we go into the third position, the third movement of the hips. And that's kind of the movement we get when we walk. So one hip's gonna come up towards the ceiling, the other hip's dropping down into the floor, and vice versa. So as you breathe in, maybe that little bit of pelvic tilt. So coming into the arch pattern, back of the neck long. And then the exhale is the contraction. Left hip lifts. Your knees might even kind of, one uh, knee might come higher than the other, and the other hip drops down, and then we relax that contraction back to a neutral pelvis. And again, you could alternate sides, one and then the other, or you could do three to one side and three to the other. And it's really important to do this slowly. Pay attention to what muscles you feel contract. So breathe in, arch. Breathe out, hike up the hip, and I feel tension in my opposite groin, the opposite one, uh, the one that's drawing down, there's a tightness in the groin, and then back to center. And then relax completely, and go to the other side if you haven't already. So those are the first three positions against the wall. Next, we're going to come back in and do the same positions with our legs lengthened and add leg movements for the SI joint. This is a continuation of our SI somatic practice. So we were just on the wall. Now we're coming down onto the floor in supine position. Allow your feet to fall open, your palms to face upward. Give yourself some space between the legs. As you breathe in, let your spine arch up off the floor, tailbone draws down, the belly's stretching, the back's contracting. And as you exhale, draw the navel down into the floor, slide your heel up and towards the sit bone, just to your range of motion. As you inhale, let it release, slide the heel back down, and the surface of your floor will make a difference. If it slides and glides easily, great. And then on your inhale, let the left leg relax completely. So that was the first position we had in the wall. That was kind of the sensation of the hip moving into tilt and tuck and turning on that transverse abdominal. Now we're going to move the foot into internal rotation from the hip. So the toes turn inward. The back's a little bit arched. And then we're going to exhale, create the contraction on the left side by pulling the heel up towards the sit bone. Yours might not go as far as mine, or it might go further. The contraction here is the hip hiking towards the shoulder and the head rolling towards that side. So there's that side body contraction we had when we were against the wall. Then you're going to let it go. Rolling the head back to neutral, sliding the heel back down, and again, externally rotating the foot to completely relax. And that little pause in between each cycle is really, really important. So on your next breath, inhale, arch the spine, exhale, just work on flattening the belly. And as you exhale, pull the heel in to in, sorry, external rotation of the hip, and bringing the heel closer to your right thigh. So the hip is externally rotated. You're gonna feel the right hip 
probably lifted up a little bit in that third position where we were on the wall and the hips were moving up towards the ceiling. Left hip is dropping down and then we're going to let it go of that contraction. We stretch everything back out and we relax. So you're going to repeat the same on the other side. Breathing in, arching the spine. Breathing out, engaging transverse abdominis core muscles to slide the heel in towards the sit bones. Just to your range of motion. Inhale, let the legs slide back out. Extend and relax. And move the hip into internal rotation. Toes roll in, slide up. Heel drives towards that outer hip. The head's going to roll towards the hip. Squeeze and contract. Exhale. Release head and foot. Relax. Then we go into external rotation of the hip. Knee bends. Heel draws in towards the left inner thigh. There's where the right hip drops down. The left hip is a little up or elevated. And then we inhale, stretch it back out, exhale, completely relax. And you'll do three cycles of that on both sides. And then come into a brief rest position and noticing the difference between the side and the other side. Compare and contrast and rest and notice how you feel. And hopefully this will help your SI joint to maintain some stability. Mm -hmm. 